वर्ल्ड हैज ऑफिशियली एंटर्ड कोल्ड वॉर टू पॉइंट ओ इन द बॉक्सिंग रिंग आर द सेम ओल्ड राइवल्स अ बिटर अमेरिका एंड एन एंग्री रशिया एंड आई से दिस बिकॉज द यूएस हैज जस्ट रिलीज इट्स एनुअल थ्रेट असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट with russia topping the list of threats to us dominance as well as rules based international order but here's what caught our attention the us still considers russia's nuclear arsenal a threat now just to be clear here russia does have the largest nuclear arsenal in the world but you know which country comes second on that list it is the us while russia boasts 5977 nuclear warheads the us follows closely with 5428 warheads that is a lot as far as atomic weapons go and here's what else american intelligence fears russia is continuing to build its nuclear arsenal as a deterrence method against potential adversaries The US spy agency believes that Russia views its atomic weapons as necessary for maintaining deterrence and achieving its goals in a potential conflict against the US and NATO. Now the report comes as tensions between the West and Russia continue to rise amid the war in Ukraine as the conflict rages on with no signs of abating. The European countries are worried that Russia will use nuclear weapons against Kiev or its neighboring NATO member states. The US intelligence report to states a fear that has long been voiced by American officials that Putin just might use nuclear weapons. Yes, it's true. Russia is in fact developing long-range atomic missiles that are capable of carrying atomic weapons. but american officials fear that these missiles are meant to penetrate or bypass us missile defenses the us report in fact also talks about russia's extensive losses in the ukraine battlefield they say that it implies a multi year recovery that could make russia more reliant on its nuclear capabilities that's america's stated fear we all know about it but what's the other side of the story According to Russia's nuclear doctrine, Moscow can use atomic weapons in response to a first nuclear strike on its territory or infrastructure. It can also use nuclear weapons if the existence of the Russian state is threatened by nuclear or conventional weapons. This stance has not changed since 2010. It makes no exception for tactical nuclear weapons. In fact, last month in his annual State of the Nation speech, the Russian President Vladimir Putin reminded Western leaders that escalatory steps like deploying NATO troops to Ukraine would increase the threat of a conflict involving nuclear weapons and therefore the destruction of civilization. During his speech, Putin insisted that recent claims by Western officials that Moscow was planning to attack NATO territory were nonsense. In the past Putin has warned that Ukraine's allies risk starting a nuclear conflict if they expand their involvement in the current war. The risk assessment report also comes amid concerns about Russia's joint plans with China to set up a nuclear power station on the moon. And according to reports Russia had obtained an anti-satellite weapon that would be powered by nuclear energy. But just to be clear, US officials have dismissed fears that such an equipment could cause physical harm on earth and as far as russia is concerned it has already denied reports of a space weapon but what this tells us is that both the us and russia fear what the other side is basically capable of doing and just this week russia's foreign intelligence service svr accused the biden administration of trying to meddle in russia's upcoming presidential election You heard that right. The SVR says that the US was using NGOs to try to affect the voter turnout. Russia did not offer any evidence to support the claims, but then neither did the US when it accused Russia of election interference in the year 2016. According to the Russian agency, the US wants to undermine the results of the election by dissuading the voters from going to the polls. Putin in fact is expected to win the election by a landslide after all he enjoys major support from the country's citizens 
Elsewhere in its statement, the SVR claimed that uh, the U.S. plans on using cyber means to target online voting. But Russia is not too worried. According to the statement from the Russian intelligence agency, U.S. bid to undermine the polls could backfire. It has cited the low percentage of votes that the European leaders like the French President Emmanuel Macron, the Italian Prime Minister and the German Chancellor received when they were elected to office. Still, weapons production, nuclear war provocations, election interference, these are just aspects of this new Cold War that is unfolding. Just look at the headlines from Ukraine in the Black Sea to Taipei in the Taiwan Strait, Solomon Islands in the South Pacific. A new Iron Curtain is descending across the world. Unlike the 40-year U.S.-Soviet confrontation, this new conflict is defined by a complex, multi-dimensional relationship, one where the West and China engage in trade and investment, even as they compete. And this, you know, leads us to the question, where does India stand in all of this? You see, India standing firm in its independence has remained committed to its non-aligned foreign policy. Embracing non-alignment during the Cold War, India played a pivotal role in challenging the bipolar dominance of the US and the Soviet Union. And over the years, despite facing various challenges, including the recent Ukraine war, India has remained unwavering in its policies. Engaging diplomatically with major powers like the US and Russia, India advocates for dialogue and peace. Its policies, in fact, are meticulously aligned with its national interests. In its strategic partnership with the US, India shares common values such as the commitment to democracy, upholding a rules-based rules -based international order, fostering strong people-to-people -people ties while maintaining robust defense cooperation. And the US, in turn, supports India's emergence as a leading global power. It recognizes India as a vital partner in ensuring peace in the Indo-Pacific region. Meanwhile, Russia stands as a long-standing and trusted partner for India. According to a recent report by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, in fact, Russia remains India's primary arms supplier, accounting for 36% of its arms imports. Even during the period between 2014 and 2018, the first five-year stretch in 50 years when Russian arms deliveries constituted less than half of India's total, India-China defense ties endured. It happened because Russia was busy with its war against Ukraine. Irrespective of what's happening, India's defense ties with both rivals remain strong and steadfast. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.